here with Clifton Mack. Clifton, it is such a pleasure to have you today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Clifton, you are in a very interesting line of work. Yes. Can you tell us, you were, you were telling me a little bit about it, and you're not only out here to make men great again, but also women great again. Can you fill us in on that? 100%. Well, I, I hate to be long-winded, but it, but it all kind of started with me four years ago when I had to tackle the problem of, I was almost 300 pounds, and, and I've, I've struggled with weight my whole life. Always enjoyed the gym, but, uh, read some books, I kind of got obsessed with endocrinology, biochemistry, and I decided to change my life, and everything's history. I mean, I, I, I changed it rapidly and, 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 and employed the science as well as the hard work, and, and eventually just kind of got to the point where I said, you know what, I want to help other people change their lives, and, and especially men, and that's why I called my business the Alpha Male Clinic, um, is because they're just, in our, in our society, it's not socially acceptable for a man to admit vulnerability, to, 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 to come and get the help that he needs, whether that be hormonally or, 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 or physically or mentally. And that, that's really what I've come to realize is, is uh, so many of the people that I deal with, they, whether it be weight loss, whether it be even erectile issues, uh, libido, relationship issues, they're usually just a symptom of mental health. And, and, and so we created a business, we've created a place, a safe place, I hate to say it that way, but where men can come and be vulnerable and it's acceptable. Rather than coming into all these typically female hormone clinics where, you know, it's 98% women, yeah. men don't want to come in there and talk about their personal issues like that. My, my message is, and I guess the reason I'm here at CPAC is because in this country, men aren't men anymore. And you know, kind of the, the, the I like to think if, if we were under British rule today, would would a, would a Boston Tea Party really happen? Would we really tell Britain, no, we're not going to put up with this anymore? I, I mean, you can you can see you know grown people wearing two masks in their car by themselves, yeah. and, and 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 I want to do something about it. Well, in a world where, especially the last couple of years, we're being conditioned to not think for ourselves and to be able just to take information that's told to us as if it is gold and as if it is truth, we'll a lot of times just try to rationalize our way out of feeling off. And I think more than anyone, you can probably say that when you're feeling your healthiest, when you are feeling your best, it not only makes you more functional father, coworker, businessman, um, military personnel, a teacher, but it overflows into everybody else around you. How are you seeing the men that you help? It affects everybody around you. Well, it's incredible, you know, because something as simple as affecting the, 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 the reflection in the mirror, it translates inside. And, and, and their, their businesses get better, their relationships with people, their, their marriages get better, everything gets better. And it's just this, it's this infection of light and it's so fun to watch. I, 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 I honestly, I believe I have the most rewarding you know, job in the world. And, and, uh, and, and ultimately the, the reason I've, I've come to CPAC is, is because of a greater purpose. I'm not here to promote my business. I'm here to promote something much greater than that. And that's, uh, that's our new foundation. It's called uh, OperationAlphaHero.com. Um, and, and what simply is what I've learned of just sitting in my clinic and reviewing blood labs and, and helping people change their life is the people that have the, the biggest struggle and the biggest problem is our, our, our nation's heroes, our, our military. Uh, it's by far and large. If, if I have, uh, you know, a thousand patients, um, the, the military that we have, they're, they're, PTSD is a major problem. Now, how do you see that affecting their hormonal and their imbalance? It's it's incredible. Now, now let's. There's other factors as well. We put our military through horrible things, exposing them to anthrax, mm -hmm. that va required vaccinations that are medically proven to literally hormonally destroy a man or anybody for that matter. But then when you put them in traumatic situations, and PTSD is the one of the greatest antagonists of cortisol. Cortisol is our stress hormone. Yeah. It's our fight or flight hormone, and cortisol it ages us rapidly, men and women alike, but, but especially with regard to men, it actually, cortisol binds to testosterone receptors and literally robs men of their testosterone. And, and so what I've seen, you know, is we're so quick, there's so many foundations out there that'll buy a, a vet or a hero a house yeah. or pay for their life when really they just want to feel like the man they used to be. And, and, and so I've got a soft spot. I've got a soft spot for, uh, as we like to say, helping our heroes be heroes again. Absolutely. 
and it's so rewarding to watch. I, we, we have a whole website, I invite you to go, alpha, operationalphahero.com and, and see all the, the, the amazing transformation stories of our heroes and you see, you can see it in their after photos, the smiles they have. And they, uh, they, they, they come into my clinic and they're, they're just sad, they're down, they're depressed. I mean, the, 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 the suicide rate of our vets is so out of control. Yeah. And it's not because they're poor. Yeah. It's not because they don't have a house. It's not, no, it's because they're wrecked inside. And, and we've got to do something about it. So that's what I'm here is, is bringing awareness to the cause. Let's, let's sponsor them. Let's help them come back to life. And so that they can live, they, they, can, they can be happy again. Absolutely, make sure that you check out Operation Alpha Hero. Dot com to gather more information about this, how you can be a part of helping our veterans, America's heroes here at Free Space. We are huge, huge, huge backbones to our, our veterans and our heroes, and nobody talks about the internal struggle that takes place. So we really appreciate everything that you're doing and supporting the backbone of our nation, our veterans. So make sure, again, that you check out that website and get in touch with Clifton and his clinic. Anywhere that they can help you, they're going to help you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kylie. G Kylie Jean, Kylie right? Jean, yes, sir. I love it. Southern, Southern Bell. Yes, it is. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Thank you.